Welcome to the Rochester Solar Estate. Today you're going to see us install 16 Mitsubishi 165 watt solar electric panels on a metal pan roof in Studio City, California. The installation starts with the unpacking of the solar panels. I need to turn down my sound in order to give you better volume. There we go. As you'll be able to see, the solar panels are uh, brought up to the roof and attached via the S5 mount from Unirac. And this mounting clip is designed specifically for metal pan roofs. One thing that was great about this installation is looking out uh, over the, the view at Studio City and uh, seeing that building. It, it reminds me of a very, very tall solar panel. I think that you'll enjoy this video and uh, we're going to be moving through it uh, fairly quickly. What you're going to see is uh, we decided to put panels on the southeast roof and to put panels on the southwest roof. So we'll have a total of 16 panels, 7 on the southeast roof, 7 on the southwest roof. What this does for a solar installation is basically extend the solar day. And so that means that the solar system will start producing earlier in the morning and finish producing later in the day because of the southwest orientation. And you can see the seven panels here nicely uh, arrayed and uh, installed with those terrific U5 clamps. Now you need to make sure that of course all, all your fit fittings are uh, very tight and, and connect to the roof. One of this client's passions was birds and animal life and ecology and, and things that, uh, you know, really matter to earth and nature. And his interest in going solar is not just so much making, making the energy and saving the money, but being able to um, help save the environment. He uh, spends a lot of time uh, around the world and has a special affinity for the Galapagos. And here's our owner now. Hello Art, how are you? So one of the things that we did do was clean the roof uh, before the next day's work because it did get very slippery uh, when it was so dirty with all the bird dung. Um, you'll see that the, we start bringing the solar panels up and uh, al align them you know, uh, in a portrait uh, style, one next to each other, down the line. And we'll actually have nine panels on the southwest roof. This installation featured a terrific backyard where you were able to use this rope and climb up this, uh, this ivory pathway up to the top and take great pictures and video of, of this installation. What you're seeing here is a nice layout of the Unirac U5 uh, clamps. And, you know, the clamps uh, really do hold the panels uh, terrific to the roof. And just the nature of the metal pan roof allows an automatic breathing space for these solar panels, so which uh, makes them perform better. Remember, a, a solar panel that gets hot uh, doesn't necessarily make more energy. What we're looking for is light because it's the photovoltaic effect. And you can start to see here in our next segment as we'll look at the wiring following the conduit down to to the uh, basement where we're going to have an indoor magnetech inverter and be able to uh, watch the meter spin backwards here and upstairs. The meter, this one's going to be replaced later, will spin backwards when this system is producing more energy than it will consume. What you're seeing red install here is an AC disconnect box. It actually has a locking switch that allows the utility company to lock the system if they happen to be working outside. This is our Magnetech inverter and the DC disconnect and uh, production meter. And you can see that you have work going on with the solar panel still getting installed and attached to the roof and uh, we have the uh, mat pulling the wire and the conduit and you'll see him bending pipe here in order to uh, get the solar panels which will be uh, in an array of seven panels and nine panels in series uh, into this conduit and down to the uh, basement making this solar electric installation spin the meter backwards. Thank you very much, Mr. Art Redchester and Studio City for this 2.6 kilowatt solar electric system. This is Brad Bartz at abcsolar.com.
Enjoy your day.